battle. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is the official post fight review for Sergey Boachuk versus Nathaniel Gallimore, and it's happened again. It's happened again. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, El Flaco, Ukraine's very own himself, by way of, you know, from, from LA, but by way of. You know, Ukraine. Boa Chuck has done it again, man. He scored another knockout victory. And, you know, right now, the, the Boa Chuck train, you know, it, it got off the rails a little bit a couple years ago. Or, or yeah, yeah, a couple, couple years ago now. Crazy. 2021 is now a couple years ago now. But back in 2021, he had that great power. Brendan Adams got knocked out. And ever since then, it's, it's, it's been four straight knockouts against Brendan Bow, Rafael Ubogwe, Aaron Coley. And now he scores, I believe, at this moment in time, the best and most important win of his career against the very tough, very game, very formidable, and always dangerous Chicago's very own Nathaniel Gallimore. So let's t let's talk about it, man. You know, it was an interesting fight for Boachuk because, I, I, as I mentioned, he got knocked out by Brandon Adams on, in that great Thursday night Ring City USA fight. Um, you know, and, and 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 there are a lot of questions about him as to you know where what 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 will come of Boachuk and and could he really cut it as a contender? in the junior middleweight division. And I think he's responded in a great way. And I, I, I think he's begun to answer that question um, with the resounding yes. I mean, four knockouts after a knockout like that, you know, it's really a, a testament to him. But, you know, Gallimore is a guy in the past. You can just go back and buy his past. You know, you can go back as early as, as late as six years ago when he knocked out undefeated Jason Rosario, you know, big win in his career. Then, not so long ago, I believe it was 2021 or 2022. I can't remember how long ago. But, but it, was, it was rather recent in the last few years. He knocked out a 14-0 prospect, Leon Lawson III. And Leon Lawson is a damn good fighter. I remember watching Leon Lawson III in the Florida Golden Gloves many years ago. And, and, and tall, long, rangy guy. He was supposed to be in the next, you know, one of the next players in the division. And Gallimore stopped that train. So he's one of these guys... That if you're if you're at a certain level at 154, or if you can't cut it at a certain level 154, you get found out and you get dealt with. Um, and he's fought everybody. He's fought like Fandura. He's fought um, what is it, Julian Williams, uh, and a whole host of other guys. I mean, he really does have a, a great resume at 154. So it was a big test for Boachuk. And um, early in the fight, Gallimore came out. You know, whatever he had in, the, in, in his tank. He came out swinging hard and ferociously, and and, and don't, get me, don't, don't get me wrong, he he was landing some big shots on Boa Chuck early, but um, as the fight will run, you you know they always say in boxing class tells and it shows over time, round by round, moment by moment, and that's what happened. You know I thought Boa Chuck did a great job because this fight was fought in close quarters, it was fought on the inside, so both fighters were operating out that high guard, right? And you know the difference in the, in the in the trenches, right, was when. The way the punches were being exchanged, you had Gallimore, who was more of kind of like a gunslinger. His punches were a bit wide. As for Boa Chuck, his, his guard was real, real tight. Uh, but not too tight to where he couldn't get his punches off, but just tight enough to where he can block the punches and prevent Gallimore from penetrating his, his defensive guard. And then, you know, he was able to just be the sharper guy coming forward down the middle. And uh, he kind of stuck with that because that's what the fight was. And, you know, he started to line up. Gallimore with some big straight right hands because Gallimore's defense has always been a bit leaky and it was no different this fight. Um, and before you know it, you know, he, then he starts placing stuff to the body, serving up those rib dinners, um, throwing nice intelligent punches to the body. And and Gallimore looked like a fighter that was ready to go. And then eventually in, in the sixth round, he had Gallimore on the ropes and he just kind of let his hands go and just, you know, threw a, a barrage of punches. And he got the stoppage, so uh, a statement victory tonight for Boa Chuck, his fourth straight knockout. And uh, he becomes only the second man, mark it down, only the second man to ever stop Gallimore. Gallimore has only ever been stopped by Sebastian Fendura prior to tonight. But, you know, he's been in the ring with, he's, you know, the guys he's lost to have been the guys like Lube, Eric Lubin, Patrick Deshera, Julian Williams, um, you know, those kind of guys. And those are all, like, you know, guys that have... Either a you know been champion, challenge for championships. They've been at the top level, so to stop Gallimore is in fact a massive statement in the career of Sergey Bolchuk. And now we get to a place in his career where it's like, okay, he's number he was he was number six in the w, WBC tonight. Prior to tonight's fight, he won this fight, right? 
So then what come, what's next for Boychuk, right? So you got uh, Tim Zhu and Tony Harrison are number one and two. They're fighting each other, so, so scratch them out the occasion, right? You got Liam Smith, who just beat Chris Eubank Jr. Chris Eubank Jr. at middleweight. So maybe he might explore greener pastures in a weak middleweight division. So we don't know what's going on with him. Number four, you got Charles Conwell, who hasn't been able to get the big fights. And I, I, I actually think this probably makes the most sense out of everybody. And then number five, you got Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia is a guy that's made a lot of money in boxing. He doesn't, you know, he's not a guy that I think politi politically speaking will need to be in a, fight, in, a, in a position to fight Boa Chuck. So will, even if Boa Chuck calls him out or they try to enforce that fight, I don't think Danny will fight him because there's not enough money in it. And he's, you know, just how boxing goes, boxing game goes. So I really think, you know, his next opponent, his next step up opponent is going to come out of either the number four contender, Charles Conwell, or the number seven contender, Eric Lubin, because Eric Lubin just got his face rearranged by Fundura, and it was a great fight, and he showed a lot of heart, but he, he needs a big win. Boa Chuck is above him in the rankings, and Boa Chuck has scored four knockouts in a row, so if he can get that win, and that's just what an amazing uh, fight for him that would be, and a win that for him that would be, you know? So uh, I'm looking at those two fights, you know? Personally, I want to see the Charles Conwell fight, because the way I see it, I don't see Conwell getting the luck of the draw or be the pick of the litter and getting those big fights because he's not a big name and there's not a lot, not a lot of money with him. And uh, Boa Chuck's kind of the same thing. You know, I don't think he's going to get a big fight. You know, he's Ukrainian, so he doesn't have, like, you know, the biggest name in boxing. Just Ukrainian fighters always got to kind of take the, the harder fights and wait till they get the mandatory spot. So I think I think that's the right he's going to have to go. And Conwell versus him be a good fight. Lubin versus him be a good fight. But, um... Good, good, good fight for him, man. He's he's maturing very well. That right hand is very good. You know, he, he showed the ability tonight to mix it up, step around um, Gallimore. You know, create new punching angles for himself. The left hook was working. I mean, there was a lot of good positive things to take from this fight from Boa Chuck. So good win for him. But you know, ultimately, the question I want to ask myself, and and, and I'm, I'm gonna end the video on this note, is what on God's green earth has happened to Brandon Adams? Brandon Adams. Knocked out Sergei Boachuk in the greatest fight we ever saw in Ring City, USA. And we have, no, we have not seen Brandon Adams since. Well, where is he? Why can't he get fights? Why did he not get a chance to build his career up after he beat the brakes off of Boachuk and stopped him? You know, he exposed Boachuk, but he's not getting a chance to build his career. So that's, you know, after like kind of like doing my homework for the fight over the week, I'm like, where the hell is Brandon Adams? So, somebody, let, somebody let BT know. Somebody let me know. Why ha why hasn't Brandon Adams fought since Boa Chuck? And you know the L you know I'm gonna call out the, you know I don't normally do this but the LDBC right the LDBC says they're for black fighters and this that and the third man well where is where why aren't they pressing for Brandon Adams he's a black fighter he, and a damn good one he knocked out Boa Chuck why why ain't the LDBC out here for Brandon Adams man it's it's, it's, it's ridiculous he he should have gotten the chance to really build himself because he beat Charlo or no no he didn't beat, he fought Charlo I should say um. Then he beat Boa Chuck, and, and he hasn't gotten a chance to really make a name for himself. So it's just, boxing's weird, you know? How guy wins a fight, one guy wins a fight, he gets no opportunities. The other guy loses, he gets all the opportunities to rebuild, rebuild himself. Such is life. But uh, that's the news. That's my little thoughts of the fight. Boa Chuck beats the brakes off of Nathaniel Gallimore and scores the statement victory of his career. I'm looking at either Lubin. Or Conwell as his next potential fights, and I think either one of those fights would be more than satisfactory for us, the boxing fans, and the boxing industry, and the boxing public. So, uh, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. Who do you want to see Boa Chuck in there with next, and what did you make of his performance? And how do you make what do you make of his rebuild since uh, the, the, the devastating knockout loss to Brandon Adams? Uh, leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. Like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.